here it's fun I too would like to thank the radio station for having us. It's a great time of the year to do this. It's awesome to do this for us. To have all the media here and get to see all those guys and get to meet all the coaches again and, and visit and all that before we get started for real. I, I'd really like to thank the radio station this year because today was our first day of school and I got out of it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, I had some notes prepared and uh, said it's not going to do me any good because I forgot my glasses. And so I could just read them anyway. I've got to tell you a funny story. Merle, remember three years ago, we were playing over at our place, and the last play of the half, we hit a long touchdown pass. Wow, wow. Uh, <laughs> but I decided to go for two, and I had my two-point conversion plays number, and so I looked down, read the number, and yelled out to my quarterback, and he gets out there, we're in the wrong damn formation, and everything else, we run it, we don't make it, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And he comes over here, you said number so-and-so, and I looked at it, and I said, that's the wrong number, I couldn't read the number. So Aaron, I was lucky, though, because there was a penalty on the play, and we got to run it again, so I had him look at my play sheet and see what they were running. So uh, I got to be smart at that, not be so vain, and not want to put my glasses on. Yeah, the way you say. But, uh, <laughs> that part out. <laughs> but uh, another story, Don's talking about his wife uh, getting pregnant this summer. Uh, I, I got married this summer, and uh, I was going to take my wife up to River Falls, Wisconsin, for our honeymoon. What's the chief strength? You know? We'd bring her in right, and she said, no, you're taking me to Jamaica. So, you know, she said, be straight. But uh, uh, it's been a good summer. Uh, we're real excited about the season. You know, the, the fact that we're picked as high as we are probably is just a, a credit to our program because uh, look at things. Uh, we don't have a lot of kids coming back. I, I would like to introduce all my coaching staff, but they're not here. Because they're back in school teaching, they wouldn't let them out there. I was fortunate enough to have them let me out to come, and they were all upset because they had to go back to school and teach today. But the coaches I have, i got four coaches back with me. Uh, Brent Holt is my defensive coordinator. Kent Brazil is uh, coaches deep backs. Cleet Brazil does the wide receivers, and Doug Jack does the running backs. And I have two new coaches with me this year. And I, I'm sure that the town of Humboldt does not like me anymore because I sold their head coach from last year and their top assistant from last year. They're now coaching for me. Travis Burke, that was their head coach, is now my defensive line coach. And Jason Feedback, that was his top assistant, coaches the offensive line for me. So uh, I'm real excited about our staff because it's seven guys that are all football first. That's their true love. That's their passion. Uh, they're not another coach in another sport and out for football as a paycheck. They're there because they love the game of football. So I'm real excited about our staff. I wish I could say the same about our players because uh, you know, last year we had a pretty good year and uh, but we had 22 seniors, which is really good for last year. Uh, unfortunately, 18 of those were starters, which is not good for this year. So we only got two starters back on both sides of the ball, two on offense, two on defense. Uh, we've got some really good young kids uh, that are going to have to step up and play quick. We've been forced to be very successful at the JV and freshman levels for the last you know, two or three years. Those kids are going to get their chance on Friday night now. They've been chumming a bit, waiting for that. And uh, so now they're going to get to step up and play. Uh, we've had three kids move in this year. It's usually the other way around. We have kids move out. But we were fortunate that we've had three kids move in that are all pretty good football players that are going to probably all wind up starting for us. Uh, and the good thing is, with that many spots open, we, like Coach Jeff said, it, there's competition on the practice field now. You know, we went to camp and we had about 75 kids there. and. Uh, we told them really and truly there's only two positions that are locked up right now out of 22. So the other 20 spots are wide open. So you better get out and bust your butt if you want to play. So the kids have really competed well. They've worked harder in the uh, weight room this summer than they ever have. Uh, so because they know they have to make up for the loss of all the kids we had. And uh, so they've worked real hard and we're excited about that. Uh, I do have one all-conference kid coming back, uh, Matt Bowley, who's the first team all-conference wide receiver last year. Uh, a really good athlete. He's one of the better athletes around. He's about 6'1", 195, runs a 4'6". Last year as a receiver, he had almost 600 yards receiving and nine touchdowns, and he rushed for almost 400 yards and another five touchdowns. So you know, he had close to 1,000 yards of offense and 14 touchdowns, and he's probably better on defense. So he, he's a good kid to build around. You know, he's our leader. Uh, he lets people know what's going on, and uh, he's a good kid, and we appreciate him. Like I said, we've got some good kids around him. We've got some really good skilled kids. They're just young. They haven't played on Friday night yet. When we play our first game on September 4th against uh, Parsons, about 7 o'clock, I'm going to see some of those eyes be about that big because they just haven't been out there on Friday night yet. Uh, but as soon as they settle down and start playing, I think they're going to have a chance to be successful again. So uh, uh, our line, which is always our key at Chanute, uh, is probably going to be the biggest line I've ever had at Chanute. Uh, after camp, we had probably 10 kids that weighed over 220 that have a legitimate chance of playing on one side of the line or the other. So for us, that's pretty big. And we're excited. I don't know if it's good, 
but they're big. Okay, so we're, we're excited about that. And then we're excited about the whole season again. You know, when we strap it up on Friday night against you guys, you know, you know we're going to compete, and I know you're going to compete. And it's going to be a heck of a tussle. Anytime that you're not ready to play on Friday night, you're going to get beat in this league. And that's what makes it so much fun. And uh, again, I want to thank the radio station on the media for being here. And you guys, good luck to you. We'll see you on Friday night.